hi everyone welcome back to ladensa crochets if you're new to the channel you're welcome kindly subscribe and join the ladensa crochets family my name is liz and in this tutorial we're going to be making these flared pants or bell bottoms i hope you're going to enjoy making these as much as i did i think i specifically enjoyed changing the colors to achieve the ombre effect if you enjoy the tutorial do not forget to like leave a comment and share with your friends so that they can come and join the family let's get into the tutorial I'll use a 4 millimeter crochet hook and medium weight yarn. I'm going to be using these four shades of green and uh, you can substitute these with any medium weight yarn of your choice and you don't have to work multiple colors. You can choose just one color. You'll need a measuring tape, a dunning needle or a tapestry needle, a stitch marker and a measuring tape. The required measurements for the bell bottoms are hip measurements, the fly measurement, the thigh, length from the waist to the knees and then the full length. So get these measurements and then we get to it. Um, we're going to work with the hip measurement. That will be our starting chain. So I've already worked uh, a small part of the trousers and I'm going to show you how to measure the hip measurements. So this one without stretching, it goes up to 16 and 16 multiplied by two is 32. If you stretch this, give it a good stretch, it goes up to around 22. And 22 will give me a hip measurement of 44. So when this is complete, completely stretched out, it can fit somebody with a hip measurement of 44. But if you give it a bit of a stretch, it goes up to 21. And uh, 21 multiplied by 2 is 42. So this is enough for me to fit the hip measurement that, that I'm working. When you're measuring the fly, you measure from the waist to the, the pattern of your legs. And when you're measuring the fly, you stretch. So when I stretch this, it goes up, up to 12. So I've already gotten to the point where I need to divide this skirt into a trouser. But then I'll illustrate to you using a smaller version. And then we'll go ahead and divide this into two in order to work one leg at a time. So let's get to that. So beginning with this yarn, start with a slip knot. Then chain five. After you get your five chains, pull out the hook from the fifth chain, put it through the first chain that you did. Then again, put the hook into that chain that you are working, the fifth one, and continue chaining. The reason why we're doing this is to ensure that the chain is not twisted. So continue chaining, and I'm going to chain a total of 50 chains. So you're going to make a number of chains that when you fold into two and measure, you're going to get half of your hip measurements. So like for example, in this one, I worked a total of 120 chains to get to my 21 when stretched. So if I'm to stretch this one, the gauge that I'm using, when you're measuring, you put your hook close to the, your measuring tape close to the hook. Sorry. Uh, so place your measuring tape close to the hook like this and then measure without stretching this chain goes up to around 8.5 when you stretch it goes up to 9.5 9.5 multiplied by 2 will give you 19 so that is a hip measurement of 19 in inches this is just an uh, illustration it's not exactly what i'm working so then after you get to your hip measurement you're going to pull this loop through the other loop on the hook like that to complete the circle then we're going to chain three from that point and the chain three will act as the first double crochet in the first chain or in yeah in the first chain then you're going to yarn over put your hook through the second chain yarn over pull through pull a loop you're going to have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two then yarn over pull through the remaining two and that's a double crochet again you're going to, to yarn over put your hook through the third chain yarn over grab a loop yarn over pull through two and pull through two so we're going to place one double crochet into each of the chains all the way around till we get back to the beginning 
So the first row is a row of double crochets into every chain. One double crochet into each of the chains. I'm in the last chain and I'm just going to place a double crochet into that chain and to complete row one we count uh, three chains on the first chain that we did so count one two three into the third chain put your hook through and yarn over grab a loop then pull through the loops that was on your hook for a slip stitch and that completes our row one we're going to chain four to begin row two two three and four then turn that is going to act as the first double crochet and one chain. So the first three chains is a double crochet, then a chain. Then you're going to yarn over, skip the next stitch and work a double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, yarn over, skip the next, do a double crochet into the stitch that follows. Chain one, yarn over, skip, double crochet next. Then continue the pattern to the end. At the end we have one stitch remaining so you're going to chain one and then we count three stitches onto this chain one two and three into the third stitch or into the third chain do a slip stitch there we're done with row two we're going to chain four then turn to begin row three for row three we're going to work on top of the double crochets from the previous row so yarn over and do a double crochet on this top of that double crochet chain one do a double crochet onto the previous double crochet chain one a double crochet next chain one double crochet onto the previous double crochet and repeat to the end after working the last double crochet you're going to chain one then slip stitch onto the third chain one sorry one two and three do a slip stitch right there to complete row three chain four and turn to begin row four we begin row four in the next double crochet so yarn over do a double crochet onto this double crochet chain one a double crochet onto the next double crochet chain one double crochet on top of the previous double crochet and this is the pattern that we're going to repeat we're going to repeat row three until we have our fly measurements. I go to my fly measurements after working a total of 14 rows and at this point i'll cut off this yarn it's actually 13 sorry i did this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 then 13. so after 13 rows that is when i got to my fly which is 12 and now we need to divide this into two into two and work the leg legs that is so as you can see for the fly measurement we are stretching and when i stretch it out that's when you get to 12. At this point, I'm going to cut off this yarn and I'll reattach the next one. So at that end, I'll chain one and cut off the yarn. Then pull through and fasten. Now, before I reattach, I'm going to hold my work like this. Or what you need to do is count the number of gaps 
or divide the stitches into two that is so i had a total of 120 stitches so i'm going to count a total of 60 stitches from this point where i've cut off the yarn and then i'll mark that middle part i've already marked my middle part so we have this part and we have the part that is marked now i'm going to turn my work to this point where the stitches are visible and then i'm going to reattach the new color right here so begin with a slip a slip knot put your hook through that stitch and do a slip stitch at that point to reconnect that yarn like that then we're going to chain four from that point chain one two three and four then we're going to work a double crochet on top of the previous double crochet till we get to where the stitch marker is or till we get to the middle part Once you get to the stitch marker, pull it out and place a double crochet there. And that will be the last double crochet in this row. Double crochet. Pull this hook through. Then you're going to get these two points and put them together. Then you need to measure this length. So this is where the thigh measurement comes in. You want to measure this and ensure that it's equivalent to your thigh measurements. And you're measuring while stretching. So from this point, without stretching, um, at 10, 10 times 2 is 20. If I stretch, I get to 12. 12 times 2 is 24. I was supposed to work at the measurement of 26, but after confirming, I've realized that it's actually 28. Because I do not want my trouser to be too tight at the center or in the middle, I'm going to work 28. And so... Because I'm at 24 right now, I'm going to get my hook and make a chain of 10, 10 chains from this point. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then I'll get this other side where we started, where we rejoined the yarn and slip stitch onto the third chain. 1, 2, and 3. Do a slip stitch at that point. Then again, we measure the thigh measurement at this point now while folding this into two like this so if you do not want your thigh, your trouser to be too tight then do not stretch out too much because if you stretch it out too much it's going to be too tight also do not measure without stretching because if you don't it might become too wide so when i stretch this after chaining 10 let's see whether we'll get to 28 28 is 14 so after stretching i am getting to 28 and that multiplied by 2 will be 28 now if your thigh measurement is bigger than 28 that means you're going to chain more you might you might need to measure uh to chain 10 or 15 or 20 depending on your thigh measurement so it's if it's more than 28 you're definitely going to need to measure more if it's smaller then you're going to chain less so just make a chain in the middle that will give you the thigh measurements that you want now after that we're going to work the next row and we're going to begin by by chaining four two three and four and turn then we're going to work onto the chain we yarn over skip the next chain so skip the chain that is next to the chain that we've made and work into the next one do a double crochet chain one yarn over skip this next one work into the next one with a double crochet chain one Skip the next chain, work on the one that follows. Chain one, skip, work into the next one. Chain one, skip this and work into the next. At this point, I'm at the double crochet and I'm just going to chain one, then work into that double crochet even when there is no stitch to skip if you have a stitch to skip then well and good but make sure that at this double crochet you have a double crochet on top of it then chain one and 
work on top of the previous double crochets and you're just going to repeat what we've been doing till you get back to this point i'll meet you there Once you get to the end, you're going to chain one and then do a slip stitch onto the third chain. One, two, and three. Right there, do a slip stitch and that row is complete. So this is what we have at this point. And now we're going to work this extension the same way we've been working. The rows are the same. Work an extension till you get to, the thigh, to your thigh measurements. When you're measuring the length, you do not stretch. The only part we are stretching is the fly but then after this no more stretching so at this point i'm at a length of almost eight inches without stretching so i'll just work till i get to my thigh measurements and now i'll be changing the colors so at this point i've worked two rows of this second shade i'll work a total of the 13 that i did plus five so i'll work a total of 18 rows with this shade then i'll change into the next shade so begin with a chain of four two three four and turn then work the double crochets separated by chains a chain in between the double crochets i'll be back and i let you know how many rows i'll have worked to get to my knee knee length measurements After a total of 24 rows from this point of the pattern of the pants, I've gotten to the to my knee length and we're going to measure this just to make sure that the knee length that we needed is we've gotten there and we're measuring without stretching, remember that. So when I measure this, as you can see, it goes up to 23, which is the measurement from my waist to the to the knees. Now at this point, we're going to work differently in order to create the flared part, which creates the bell shape of the bottoms of the, of the pants. And to do that, we begin with a chain of four. So I'm um, on the inside, inner part of the pants. So I'm going to chain four from this point, then turn to the other side. Begin with a double crochet onto the double crochet row, onto the double crochet from the previous row. So that's our first gap, chain one, do a double crochet into the second double crochet, that's the second gap, chain one, do a third double crochet, those are three, then you're going to work a fourth gap, chain one, and the fifth one. After the five gaps, we're going to do an increase, and for an increase, you chain one, and instead of going into the next double crochet, you work into the same double crochet right here. So into that same same double crochet so it's like you're creating a v-stitch at that point and that is our first increase chain one and work five more five more gaps so you have one chain one two chain one three chain one then we have four chain one then five after the fifth we do another increase chain one then go into the same double crochet with a double crochet then chain one and work five more gaps another five gaps So at this point i have one two three four and five so into that double crochet increase then we're going to work another five gaps then increase into the fifth So I'm increasing at that point, chain one and a double crochet. 
right there to create a v-stitch chain one and then do another five gaps then this is what we're going to repeat till we get to the end of this row So towards the end i only have two gaps and there's no problem you can just finish like that then to begin that next row you're going to chain four and turn and in this row we are not increasing so we're just going to work a double crochet on top of each of the previous double crochets and then we separate them with chains including the v-stitch right here so chain one and go into the next double crochet chain one and repeat the pattern to the end of this row you're not increasing at all so once you get to the v-stitch you chain one and do a double crochet onto the next double crochet that's what you're going to have then work to the end of the row At the end of the row do a slip stitch onto the chain three stitch from the previous row uh, at the beginning that is then we are done with that row that has no increase we're going to chain four and turn to begin the next row now the next row is going to be an increase row so that means uh, we are alternating between an increase row and a row with no increase we begin with the first gap and we're going to create six gaps so the previous one was five so the next one will be six then the following one will be seven and so on so one two three four five and six so those are the first six gaps after the six gaps we increase into that double crochet so chain one and place a double crochet into that stitch then again we do six gaps chain one we do the first one one two three then four five and six then increase at that point so chain one do a double crochet into that same stitch then again we continue with the pattern every six increase after every six gaps up to the end then the next row will be a row of just one double crochet and into each of the double crochets separated by a chain so those are one two three four five then six increase at that point so keep going i'll do this row and the next one which has no increase then i'll meet you when we're doing the third row of increase we are in the second row of increase so we'll do the third one next once i'm done with this one so keep alternating from this point you can actually work to the end of the pants but i'll show you one last time and then i'll let you work the pants all the way to the to the end At this point, my full length is at, let's see, it's at 30, shouldn't be at 25, should be more than 25, let's see. It's actually at 26, as you can see, and I want to keep going, increasing until I get to this point, 43. So just keep increasing until you hit your full length of the pants that you want so make sure that you increase the gaps by one in every row that follows in every increase row that follows so that you have five six seven eight nine ten and so on i forgot to increase if you don't want to count you can just check 
the points of increase from the previous row so you can see we are at this point then the next one is here the next one is here the next increase will be corresponding this double crochet and keep going i'll meet you once i have the full length of the pants so that we can do the edging and then after that we do the other leg I've done a total of 60 rows from the waist at this point all the way down let me show you the length that I've gotten we're measuring without stretching remember that at this point I'm at a length of 41 inches I had mentioned that I was going to work 43 but i've tried the pants on and at 41 i'm okay with that length so i'm going to stop there so i've gotten 41 inches after 60 rows if you want to continue you can keep increasing and i've increased for a total of 16 gaps so the gaps that are in between the increase right now are 60 and you want to ensure that you finish on the increase row so i finished on on the increase row and i'm going to work one last row of single crochets on the edging now if you finished from the inside you're going to turn so that you work on the outside if you finished on the outside of the pants you're not going to turn so i've already chained one i'll just start with a single crochet into this stitch single crochet into the gap single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the chain one gap then single crochet into the the double crochet stitch into the gap into the double crochet stitch and i'm going to work a row of single crochet all the way around once you get to the end you'll be done with that the leg that leg so let me do the the single crochet row then i'll be back and we'll reattach the yarn and do the the pants on the other side Once you get to the end, we're going to do a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet that we started with for that row. Then chain one and cut off the yarn. And at that point, we are done with that part of the leg. Pull through and fasten. So this is what we have now. One side is completely done. The flared part, it's quite wide. That's how it's going to look like. Now get your this color and we're going to reconnect as you can see uh when i was working on the other end i reconnected from this side now to join this second leg we're going to reconnect from the opposite side at this point right here so we're going to place a double crochet into this same same stitch and what we do is start with a slip knot i'm using the same colors as i used on the other leg just to ensure that the pattern is uniform so put your hook into that stitch and do a slip stitch then chain three chain four actually we're chaining four go into the next stitch the double crochet stitch with a double crochet chain one into the next double crochet do a double crochet chain one double crochet next chain one double crochet and repeat repeat till you get to this point and i'll meet you here and show you what to do at the middle Once you get to this point, we're going to place a double crochet into this same stitch as the other one, as we did on the other side, like that. Then we're going to switch or to, to move over to the single crochet stitches. So beginning from here, 
I'm going to place a single crochet, then a single crochet into the gap, a single crochet on top of the double crochet, single crochet in the gap, then continue to the end. Then once we get to the double crochet at the corner, we're going to slip stitch onto the chain three, one, two, and three. Slip stitch right there to complete that row. Then chain four and turn. Then skip one stitch, do a double crochet into the next stitch. Make sure that that double crochet corresponds to the other double crochet. Chain one, do a double crochet into the next stitch after skipping chain one double crochet after skipping this one do a double crochet chain one skip the next do a double crochet into the next chain do a double crochet here chain one then here we're going to skip to this double crochet and do a double crochet on it chain one now we're getting back to the pattern and right here we are working a double crochet on top of each of the previous double crochets till we get to the end in between the double crochets make sure these are a chain stitch At the end chain one and do a slip stitch onto the double onto the chain three stitch that you started with then chain four and turn to begin the next row and now from this point we're just going to repeat the rows of double crochets separated by the chain stitches all the way till we get to the to the knee parts or the knee length and then continue with the increase to get the flared bottoms you can rewind the tutorial back to where we started working the increases if you cannot remember but then this pattern is completely the same as the one we have on the other side once you do that you'll be done with your pants and then you'll do a chain to reattach to attach onto the waist because we worked with the hip measurement the waist will not be fitting and you'll need to attach a drawstring so i'll just go on do this other side of my pants and i'll be back with the final outcome At this point, I'm done with both of the legs, as you can see, and our pants are ready. I totally love how these turned out. And I've also gone ahead to make the drawstring and attached it to the waistband. Like I mentioned, we are working with the hip measurement, and therefore, you're going to need to have a drawstring for the waist part. To work the drawstring, you're going to get two strands of any of the two, of your yarn, that is, and then you're going to start with a slip knot, as usual. And then after that you're going to make a chain of 200 it could be 200 or it could be more than 200 depending on the size of your waist so go on make that chain and once you're done we're going to attach it to the waistband once the chain is ready get the trapezoid needle and put the strap through the, the the needle and then you're going to get the front part of your pants and attach that strap at that point in the first row of the double crochet the solid double crochet row that we did the first the very first row that we did so right there in the middle in the in the front part you're going to put your needle through and you're going to just sew the thread or to thread it all the way around 
until you get back to where you've started and at that point you'll have attached the drawstring. If you enjoyed the tutorial and you're still not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Kindly subscribe, share, comment, like, and see you in the next one.